Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. So in this video, I wanted to have a good talk to you, okay, to get your head straight, okay, to put it on the right path. So I want you to understand that it doesn't matter if you're straight, okay, it doesn't matter if you're gay, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, blue, what color your skin is, okay? When you're out in the world, when you're out in that classroom, anywhere that you sit or that you are a part of this world, you are not less than anyone else. Okay? I want you to really start taking that in. You are here for a reason. You have your place in the world. And it's not a random thing that you're here. Okay, for many of us, and this is something that you really, really have to get your head around. For many of us, we were really, really wanted by our parents. They really wanted us to be in the world. They wanted us. You were wanted from the very beginning for many, many of us. You know, I'm talking to those of you out there that are being bullied and I want you to start focusing on that very first fact that you are here and you were brought into this world because you were wanted originally. You were wanted. Someone wanted you to be here. Whether it was to give you all the love, whether it was for whatever reason, but you were wanted. You are wanted. So that's, that's the very first thing, and it's, it's quite a big thing. But you are here because two people came together and they decided that they wanted to have you. They wanted you to be here. Okay? So that, that's one of the first things I want you to start appreciating today, that you're wanted. Because there are many children in this world, and I tell my daughter this all the time, there are many children in this world that come by accident. They weren't wanted. I mean... Nothing is an accident, but I mean, to the adults, they didn't plan to have this child, okay? They, they weren't planning on it. It was a gift sent to them, okay, as we've discussed in previous videos, not these bullying ones, but before that. A child is always a gift, and it's to remind us, you know, that the reason we're here is to use this big heart that sits inside of us. And a child is the best way to unlock that, to open that up, to help us remember that's what we're here for, to love. To love. Okay, now some children, they come into the world and these adults weren't planning it, they weren't expecting it, and all of a sudden they're thrown onto these people. And these adults don't know what to do with this child. Okay, let alone give it love, they don't know what to do with this child. So, first I want you to think about that, because we all seem to think that what we have is what everyone else has. And if you've got two loving parents that plan to have you and that's all they wanted was for you to exist in their life, for you to be their blessing, that's already such a beautiful gift for you to hold on to. That you were wanted. You were brought into this world because two people really, 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 really wanted you wanted to share their life with you. You were a blessing to them. You reminded them of what love really is, of how to give that love, how to express that love. You are a constant reminder of their love for each other, you know? So that's a very big thing to take in. But, you know, I want you to learn to think that you are not less than anyone else in the room. You're not more than. You don't need to be more than. You don't need to be superior either because that's a, a whole bucket of problems on its own <laughs> when people think that they're better than or more than okay that, that's again another problem okay that's not peace that's not love for who you are either you know understanding who you are you know that you're not more than and you're not less than regardless of what color your skin is regardless of what the color of your hair is regardless of whether you've got two eyes of a different color or your teeth are all crooked because I was one of those kids who had to have braces because my teeth were all over the place. None of that has anything to do with you being more than or less than. 
your sexuality, whether you like the opposite sex or you like the same sex, that doesn't make you as a human being any less than anyone else in the room. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the love that we have to give. That's all we're here for, to love. Now, why would you be less loving because you're gay? Or why would you be less loving because you're blue or black or whatever color your skin color is or your hair color is or whatever else there is? <laughs> you have the same amount of kindness inside of you as everyone else in the room, whether they use it or not. That's up to them, but you're all given the same amount. The same kindness, the same compassion, the same love is inside of all of the people around you. Whether they use it or not, is up to them. But you, when you are brought into this world, regardless of the color of your skin, regardless of your sexuality, you were not given less than. You were not given less love than everybody else around you, or less kindness or less compassion, or less patience, or less of anything that matters at all. You were given the same. You all have the same inside of you. And as I've said in previous videos, if you cut, whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're blue, whether you're black, whether your hair color's orange, your blood is still gonna be red. It's not gonna be green. It's not gonna be a different color. You need the same air as everyone else to breathe. You don't need special air. You need to drink the same water as everyone else to live and survive. Think about it. You all have the same basic necessities. You're all given the same basic gifts inside to use. How we use them is up to us entirely. But I can promise you, you are not less than anyone else in the room. Because everything that they have inside that means anything, you have inside of you as well. You know, some people could have the biggest house, the most cars in the driveway, but their heart's empty. So what is that all for? When there's nothing inside of value, empty. Think about it. We admire all that outside stuff that makes us a better person we think because that's what we're sold. But if your heart's empty, there's no love, it doesn't mean anything. All right, my darling, so I want you to start thinking about that and start saying to yourself, I am not less than anyone in this room. like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.